In this video, I'm going to do the best I can to explain to you how you can install a window in a wall that does not have an existing window. So let's just pretend like you have a stucco exterior and drywall or plaster on the interior. First thing you will need to do is figure out what the rough opening of the window will be, the size of the window after it is framed. And in this particular video, and I'm going to make a few videos and attach them to here because I can't just cover everything in one video. In this particular video, if the rough, rough opening is four foot wide by three foot, you're going to need to cut the drywall an inch and a half lower. It's going to need to be an inch and a half lower so that we can in, cut the studs and install a bottom plate or a window sill, I should say. So this is what it would look like after you cut the window opening. You're going to be able to see some uh, two by four studs. That's the corner. Here's the upper corner. And don't forget, you are going to have insulation. You know, hopefully you do not run into any electrical or plumbing. And I'm going to try and make a few videos to give you a heads up on that to uh, avoid the possibility of hitting something that... Uh, you might not uh, might not want to hit. You know, I can't tell you how many times I've opened up a wall and there's electrical wire running right through it. Now, never hit any plumbing. Got to say that. I was always pretty good at that. But uh, electrical wires, um, they are plentiful in these walls and sometimes hard to detect. Next thing will be to remove the studs, or I should say the studs for the window opening and should look something like this. Now, it's you're going to need to remove the upper wall studs. After you know, you can do that after you cut the bottom if you want to, simply cut the bottom. Cut the bottom studs and then pull them out or cut them cut them twice and then um, get them out of here. You're going to have to be careful. You're going to need to try not to damage the drywall and um, the stucco. You're going to damage uh, some of the paper depending on how it was installed. Just no way around it. And then we will be patching that up later. I'll show you how you can uh, patch some of this uh, stuff back up and make the repair look nice. Here's what it would look like after you remove the upper wall stud cripples. Now I'm going to go ahead and go to the outside and keep in mind that you're going to be working from the inside. And just for clarification, to make it a little easier, I've removed the stucco. So it might look a little easier to build it from this side than it will be from the inside. First thing you're going to need to do is add some lower wall stud cripples. These will be supporting the window sill. Next you will install the window sill. And it might be hard to nail or screw into these areas. Like I said, you might not be able to attach certain parts of the building to each other the way they would like a, an engineer would like it to be um, attached. Next thing you're going to do is put in a floating king stud, let's say, with a window trimmer attached to it. Now this, this is important here, this part right here is not going to be fastened to anything right now. It needs to be able to move, otherwise you're not going to be able to get the header in. And again, I'm going to make another video to provide you with a little more details about some of the problems you could run into and some of the uh, things you might need to do for uh, installing a window like this. Next thing you will do will be to install the header. I don't recommend putting cripples on the outside here because you need to actually get the header into the opening here. So if you could just imagine the window header with the cripples nailed on. Now, if, if, you can nail, if you nail them to the top, 
If somehow you can attach them to the top plate, then you're not going to be able to attach them to the header. So you can actually install the cripples first if that's going to be easiest or attach them to the header. And I've done it plenty of times before. I just attach it to the header and then shove it into the opening and um, and I'm good. And then the top of, of the cripples wouldn't be nailed. But keep in mind, the way that we're doing this right here might not be accepted by structural engineers or your local building authorities. I'm just providing you with an example here of something that you can try. I've done this before. And I wouldn't recommend doing it on windows any wider than four foot. Four foot might even be pushing it. Now, the so I explained this right here. The header is in here. You've got it in here. You pull the tremor over tight. But again, keep in mind, this isn't going to be fastened yet. Next thing you will do will be to install the other trimmer on the other side. And if you have a uh, if it depending upon the location of these studs you could always put another wall stud or another trimmer in and then fur it out so for example let's say we have a two and a quarter inch distance from here to here then you could always put a piece of three quarter inch plywood or one by four um, back here a full length trimmer and then screw it into the wall stud here and then um, attach this you could attach the trimmer to that that'd give you a nice sturdy area and then after that you're going to have to pull this over and i am going to make another video showing you how to attach these areas so and there will be a link at the end of the video by the way for that now this is what's going to look like on the inside remember you needed to lower the drywall so that you could cut the wall studs so that you could set the trimmer on or the um, sill on top of it. It's kind of hard. If you can figure out another way to cut the wall studs at the bottom here without removing the drywall, then you can go ahead and raise the drywall and work with that distance. But I don't recommend removing the wall studs on the bottom. Um, because these are going to be bigger. Most of the time the cripples up above are about six inches on a single story home. And this right here, I don't know if I would do this on a two story home. You know, this would be just for a single story home. And uh, the reason for that is because you're going to need a little more structural strength in here. Now, if you cut into an opening, and uh, let's just say, for example, you have cut into the opening here and you see plywood on the outside that might be shear panel it might be structural shear panel I wouldn't recommend putting the window in so you're gonna need to do a little bit of research before you do something like this um, you could actually cut into the wall and find plumbing like I said or too much too many electrical wires um, or some type of structural components and then you're not going to be able to put the window in. So just keep that in mind. This is not going to work for everyone on every project, but it is an example of how you can get creative sometimes and uh, install some windows without removing a lot of uh, drywall, interior um, wall coverings or exterior wall coverings, which means that you won't have to match the textures. You won't have to match the siding. If they don't sell the siding anymore, something like that, that could be a big problem.